Okay, I had a theory last year when I had the siding deal over there was because it had been five months since anyone had been in this area. Nobody camped out here. We had that verified by Swift Mud. And because of that, animals, I believe that the skunk ape, whatever, as they re-entered this area, they sort of let their guard down and got a little closer than they should have. And then when one of them realized that it was Tim Fasano that was filming them, they would probably thought, I'm never going to live this one down. And so I believe that if you strike early in the season, what we call migratory season, which is the first cold snap of the fall and the spring season when things begin to warm up, that you can catch them moving from territory to territory. We, we know that large mammals migrate. Up in Ocala, they tagged, I guess it was by the year, they tagged a bear. And a year later, Ocala got a call from Monroe County, which is in the Everglades, and they said, we found your bear. Now, what that means is that bear was able to move through urban areas, cross roads in the middle of the night, and keep trucking and find his way down to the Everglades. So we know for a fact that a 400-pound mammal can make its way through civilization. So this is what we believe is going on. I believe since the cold snap has hit that there's an abundance of skunk apes that are entering this area. So we need to move on this. I notice we've got a member of our party already went ahead. I guess that was to, that was to cue Rick Dyer to get ready with the suit on? Yes. Okay. Rick's so let's head out.